working with traditional kindergarten. Letting go. I thought I had an 11 a.m. Zoom meeting, but it's actually moved to fully asynchronous for today. Turning in my assignment. The best feeling. There's absolutely no way. Why do I? I always do this to myself. safe and sound i'm about to hop in the shower i'm debating whether i want to like wash my hair or not but i thought i would share my current read which is some other now this is actually part of me and my friends book club and we just finished court of mist and fury and so we wanted to take a break and share each one of each other's like favorite reads and we're both not loving our books and i understand why like it's hard to come off actar and get into another book because it's just the pacing is going to be so different i am now 120 pages in i've been listening to this on the audio so i'm going to take my shower listen to the book in there Make a match after I get through. After I get to page 170, maybe I'm at, I'm at 155. So we'll see if we get there. just finished filling in the entire week also look at how cute i like colored the days of the week this is what my schedule looks like i have two in-person classes i go monday and wednesday and then i have an internship that i have to do so i probably will be doing those hours thursday friday and last week guys it was my first day working with transitional kindergarten and let me tell you although yes i was overwhelmed at first looking back on it i can't even say a bad feeling from it like i had so much fun and i love kids it just felt pretty natural to me and yes yes <laughs> It is crazy. Like, I've never been in a classroom full of kids. So obviously to me, like, this experience was a bit hectic. However, it was my first day. And so I think I'm gonna get the hang of things. And I'm like really excited. I just, as you can tell, I can't like stop smiling about it. Gonna start finishing up the last bio assignment that we got today and then maybe start a discussion board. Let's do tomorrow. I don't like doing the discussion board for this class just because sometimes the word count for me is like too much. I'm like grasping at words to add on to make the word count.
Can always count on your tears making your eyelashes grow longer and your skin it gets clear. Thank you to Keology for sponsoring today's video. We have to talk about my one and only person that I can rely on when it comes to everything skincare, and that is Keology. You guys are probably witness why I'm so in love with this cleanser. I use this cleanser twice a day. The consistency of it is just very lightweight. It literally leaves my skin feeling soft and supple at the end of it. Very clean, and that is exactly what I look for in a cleanser. And then I just end my skincare routine off by mixing the two of these. Sometimes I'll go in with a layer of this first. I've also used both moisturizers by Keology. Loved both of them, not gonna lie. But this one is probably my favorite. It is the gel moisturizer. And then I will go in and mix the two of these together. Literally the smallest pump. Add some moisturizer into that mix. Literally skincare routine done. It's so easy, simple, and that's what I love about it. I do you want to say that skin is not meant to be perfect. From time to time, I still find myself struggling with acne, especially during that time of the month. And that's just kind of inevitable for me. I've learned to appreciate the imperfections. I know that they are okay. They don't make me feel self-conscious. We all struggle with our bodies, especially when it comes to our skin. But I definitely can say that over the years, Curology has played a huge part in increasing increasing my confidence in my skin. The best thing about Curology is that you can get a prescription formula. This pretty little bottle right here. This prescription formula comes about from a skincare quiz that you will take that will help the licensed dermatology provider provide you with your powerful custom formula that is catered to your specific skincare concerns. Curology is the best way to have an effective, simple skincare routine. It's a three-step skincare routine and it's quick and easy yet effective. I love my little besties right here. They just support me through life and I can always rely on them. Thank you to Curology for sponsoring answering today's video. I have my bangs curled up right now. I did my makeup a little bit to put my hair in these braids because my hair is not looking the best. I'm feeling better. We'll talk about my mental breakdown this morning later. We have class to go to. I think I'm gonna walk to school today to really get myself out in the sun. I think that's maybe what I need. But before I head out, I need to pick out a cute outfit because guys, it's Valentine's Day today. With the way this morning went, we need a bit of a pick-me-up. A cute outfit will do the trick. I'm gonna go into my closet. It's a bit of a mess right now, but I'm gonna go pick myself something out and we'll see what we come up with. Shoes I'm wearing, kindly gifted by my sister. The Reebok. I'm also wearing like completely Ooh. mismatched socks. Kind of embarrassing. I'm like coming in and out of sadness and happiness at the same time. I don't know. It's kind of weird. He got like a bunch of different flowers and made his own bouquet. Go Ernie, go Ernie. <gasps> That's literally perfect. Perfect. Guys, it's a brand new day. On a good note, I slept amazing last night. What I think really helped with that was yesterday, I did not let myself listen to any background noise, like shows, podcasts, or videos. I actually did not really go on social media at all. And I wanna say that's probably been a contributor as to why I've been sleeping so poorly. A lot of times I fill up the silence with noise. And so maybe when I'm like trying to sleep and it's complete silence, my brain isn't used to it. And so it fills up noise with 
within my brain, if that makes sense. Hopefully things are getting better. I'm feeling the good energy from here on out. Things can only go up. So, but it's a little bit later in the day now. It's 1 p.m. I've been cleaning my room for the past hour. It's coming along. It's like not perfect yet, but I thought I would just pick up the camera, talk to you guys. I don't know if I have anything else to say. <laughs> to some classmates for the discussion post and tell me why my brain just won't it's not gearing and it's i can't find any words to say back to these people except i like what you said and the thing is this has to be 250 words for me a discussion post should be minimum 100 words i feel like towards the end of my response everything always kind of comes to me and then i have a lot more to say but the beginning is always the struggle part so we are gearing in tonight just gonna be doing a bunch of homework it's currently seven but i don't want to stay up too late because i have my internship early in the morning tomorrow i'm gonna try to crank out like three hours of this stuff <gasps> keeping true to working towards ending my procrastination so far this semester i've only had one missing assignment which i know it shouldn't have happened in the first place but since then i've turned in all of my assignments on time or a day before the due date and so far what's helped me in ending my procrastination is working in big chunks setting aside a good few hours to just focus on homework has kept me the most productive also like to play jazz music to set the vibes now determined to show more lectures to go. I've been writing out my notes. Things are going swell. I'm watching this on 1.5x speed also and it's making it go by 10 times faster. And I fully understand what she's saying also. We got dinner. Why am I whispering? <laughs> I got a little macaroon and I'm not gonna lie. I've just been wanting to eat sweets all day. I could eat a whole box of these to be honest, but I'm just gonna watch me give myself a treat for a bit. I just know this is about it. This is so funny. <laughs> Internship day today. It's 7 27. I'm gonna try to be there by 8 15 or 8 10. But I should definitely pack a snack. I think I'm gonna be there the rest of the day. So, like a full school length day. Yeah. You need lunch in between, so. I also really want to pick up some like matcha or coffee, but I'm afraid that if I pick it up on an empty stomach, I'm going to shit my pants. I'm on my period, and so you know that combination is not, it's not a good end. when something exceeds expectation. This is good. Paris baguette, I already went here earlier in the week um, to do a double take with my diamond cheese croissant. Wow. This is the life, guys. Like, this is what I dream to do. Wake up in the morning, come get breakfast, coffee, start the day. We finished another book. Yes! I actually haven't really been reading all that much during February because ever since school started, I have had less time to be reading. I'm gonna give this a three out of five. I honestly think I'm pretty generous with my ratings though because I've heard some pretty low ratings like my friend who rated Love and Other Words. I think she rated it a 2.5 out of five. And I was like, 
And so when I dislike a book, I still give it three out of five, which I don't know. Some people could say that's still a good rating. This book wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. It just was incredibly similar to The Summer I Turned Pretty. Pretty much the same storyline, like definitely not the same down to a T. I think just things were kind of repetitive for me. And this book was 359 pages. I definitely think we could have condensed it to like 200 pages. So this is my first only read of February so far. Enough of that. I have been reading, what was that? Court of Mist and Fury. I'm already almost 100 pages in, so we have six more 100 pages. This is the biggest book that I've ever read. I think A Court of Mist and Fury was like my first book that I've ever read that was that long. And it felt like I flew by. I talked about this before, but like I also read the audiobook on it and that's why it went by so much quicker. I have two days. I think it's one more day now until I get audio back on Spotify. And I'm excited to start reading this book on audiobook. Honestly, like I didn't mind reading through the first 100 pages because sometimes when I do listen to it on audiobook, descriptions and details kind of fade out. And because it's happening so fast, because I play it 1.8x speed, I just miss out on things or like I can't picture things happening as I would as I'm reading it. I've been pretty giddy about a lot of scenes already happening, surprisingly, if you know you know like I'm going to actually annotate the pages that I put down on my little card here I don't like to tab things as I'm reading I feel like it just kind of like it's too much work so I'd rather go in and do it after so I put down the pages that I wanted to write down but also before we do that I on I haven't talked anything was the camera, I hope the camera was not blurry the whole time. I'm so sorry if it was. Talk updates about my day today because I had my internship the entire day. Kids were so sweet and nice. Like I love working with them. I have so much fun every time and I love them. I was really more interactive with them I would say today, especially during like recess time. They bring a smile to my face and that's all I have to say. Like that is what I need in my life right now. I'll have to do another internship like this later on. I would love to do this level again to be honest i love the transitional kindergarten age group i don't know i just think they're like perfect for me let's start having i'm gonna put on like a cute little show maybe someone's a youtube video so good they add like this comedic annotated there's different colors for different people scenes spice i'm also a beginner annotator so if my tabs are too far out just know it's my first time really doing this i don't know how people get them to be barely popping out from the pages it must be very precise with that because mine really pop out there but yeah that was so fun just little things like that where you get to annotate books is what makes me happy if you're curious to know i made lucian is blue recent and farah is yellow funny or slash badass moments are red and spice is like there's nothing really spicy happening yet but oh and then predictions are pink so i need to write that down spice is purple let me write that down just so i don't forget anyways i think i'm going to watch sunset i haven't really been outdoors i mean I, i've been outdoors actually for a big chunk of the day being at recess but not a moment to just sit and kind of reflect on life. I don't wanna do a mini picnic situation. There's a spot that I like to go to that has a really pretty viewpoint. <laughs> supposed to be setting at 5 38 so we have some time and i'm hoping that we get a sunset because you know what actually just as i said that i felt like it got a little bit brighter i thought we're better to do a mental health check you guys saw me have a little mental breakdown like two days ago it was a mix between me being on my period and just kind of stressing out about the way my videos have been performing feeling pretty down on myself all that good stuff i've just been kind of mentally in the dumps but i always try to kind of like bring myself back to reality 
and remind myself of all the things that I have to be grateful for. For example, like I'll always look at pictures of my boyfriend and they'll bring a smile to my face. And it just serves as that reminder that my whole life isn't just YouTube. I forget that I don't want to do YouTube for the rest of my life. And I think it's just that comparison trap that I put myself in that plenty of us also do, we're human. But basically just comparing myself to other people's success last video that i had uploaded which oddly enough in that video i was talking about stress and how it affects us mentally for some reason that video wasn't uploading properly i'd set it overnight and it was taking way longer than any of my videos ever have i was just really frustrated incredibly frustrated to the point where i was like throwing things i don't really express anger that much but when i do it radiates throughout my whole body like it just it affects me mentally to be honest and I was kind of manifest me end up getting sick after and so that's exactly what happened I got sick two days later with flu-like symptoms full body chills and it kind of was I mean I've always had wake-up calls like I've always known that me stressing out was not a good thing but I think this time around me knowing and then it happening was worse you know I'm going down a path where I want to just do YouTube for fun now. If a video seems as like as if it's not meant to be uploaded that day, I'm not gonna be stressed about it going up even though viewership is better this day or it's better at this time. I'm just gonna let things be. It is what it is, you know? It is what it is. There's no point in stressing, especially when you know that there's more negative to it than positive. The fact that I'm stressing and putting all this negative energy towards my videos is maybe the universe's sign of saying, hey, we don't need this negative energy. And until then, things aren't just gonna go right. <laughs> Letting go is my mantra this year and just living for the moment, especially since things are gonna be changing really soon. Thought I would do that mental health update. I also wanna know how you guys are doing because it's always important that we check up on each other and you ask yourself how you are doing, even if you feel like, hey, I'm doing great. Maybe do a real honest update with yourself and be like, how am I really doing? Just know that I'm here for you in spirit, like truly. In my prayers, I try to pray that people around me, even if I don't know them, are living healthy and are safe. These little moments are the ones that diminish the days where things aren't so bright. The time I get to spend with my mom, hang out with friends, being grandmas as we learn to crochet is what I smile about. And what serves as the reminder that every tough day will be followed by better ones ahead. I will hold on to those days and cherish the memories that remind me that life is beautiful. I will continue to love this life, appreciate all the little things, and love the people who provide that happiness for me, much like you guys do. I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful and special day. See you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>